term 1 Roman numerals. Long ago, Romans used seven letters of the English alphabet to represent numbers. These numbers were known as Roman numerals. Fun fact, there is no Roman numeral for zero. These are the basic symbols that Romans use to denote numbers. They are I is used for 1 V is used for 5 X is used for 10 L is used for 50 C is used for 100 D is used for 500 and M is used for 1000. Rules for forming Roman numerals. Repetition of Roman numerals means addition. Only I, X, C and M may be repeated but not more than three times. We cannot repeat V, L and D. Now let's form Roman numerals. Okay? Let's take the number 3. Now how do you denote 3 in Roman numerals? You write 3 I's and that forms 3. Now let's try 30. We know that 10 is represented by an X which is now when we add X, X and another X which is 3 X's in a row it is 30. Now let's take the number 200. 200 is a set of 100 plus 100. So we represent it by C and C. Now let's take 3000. In 3000 there are three sets of thousand. So we write them as M, N and another N. Rule number two. When a smaller numeral is written on the right side of a larger numeral, then the smaller numeral is added to the value of the larger numeral. For example, 8. We know that 8 is denoted by V and 3 I's. Now, when we look at them together, it is 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equals to 8. Now, let's take the number 13. We know that 13 is represented by X and 3 I's, which is 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 13. Now let's take another number. C and V. What does C stand for? 100. And what does V stand for? 5. So now when we read them together it is 105. Now what does C X, X and X stand for. We have one C and three X's. It is 130 because C is the value of 100 and X is the value of 10. Rule number three. When a smaller numeral is put on the left side of the larger numeral, then the smaller numeral must be subtracted from the value of the larger numeral. V, L and D are not subtracted. For example, let's take the number 4. How do we represent the number 4? We write I and V. Because I is to the left of V, we subtract it, which is 5 minus 1 which is equals to 4. Now let's take the number 9. How do we represent the number 9? We write 
i and x which is 10 minus 1 which is equals to number 9. Let's take a complicated number. How do we represent 40? We know that 40 can be written as 60 minus 20 which is LX and place two X's on the left of them which is X and X then L and X When we write numerals in a way that a numeral of the smaller value lies between the numerals of the greater value the smaller value is subtracted from the greater value after it For example LIV is equals to 50 plus 5 minus 1 which is 50 plus 4 is equals to 54 DXC we know that D is 500 whereas X and C represents 100 minus 10 so it is 500 plus 90 which is 590